At the end of the month, the federal loan program for low-income college students is set to expire. And unless Congress steps in to save it, 1,500 schools across the country won't be able to offer low-interest loans next year. That includes UW-Madison and Newsery's Brittany Paris explains. Brittany? Eric, the Student Financial Aid Office director says the Perkins Loan Program means a great deal to UW. Thousands of students are able to attend the university because of it. And without the program, he's worried some students might have to take time off or even drop out. And I'm studying international business and finance. UW Madison student Catherine Eliaga has dreams of traveling the world. I'm hoping with like international business, I'm going to be able to work at um, companies that send me abroad and kind of match their money. But come September 30th, paying for tuition could get a lot tougher. So this loan is huge to me because I'm paying college for, by myself, so it helps me out. A lot. The federal Perkins loan program will expire at the end of the month, impacting nearly 4,000 UW-Madison students who rely on that money. But it's a serious program and it means a lot to students and so there is no sufficient replacement yet for the Perkins loan program and that's a concern for us. Student financial aid director Derek Kindle says the university loans about seven and a half million dollars to low-income students annually. Perkins loans allow qualifying students to borrow up to $5,500 each year at a 5% interest rate. The school is the lender and students repay their college. Our students are incredibly responsible with this loan. In fact, our default rate for this loan is less than 1%. It's about 0.78. But without this financial support, Kindle says some students might have to take time off or even drop out. But that could be a real scenario for a student who's struggling. Senator Tammy Baldwin today urging senators to act before it's too late, saying in a statement, for generations, this program has acted as a lifeline for many students, helping them build a path to the middle class, not debt. She introduced bipartisan legislation that would save the Perkins program for students like Catherine. UW students who accepted a Perkins loan by September 22nd will receive their loan for the 2017-2018 school year, but if it expires, about 500,000 students across the country will not have access to this financial aid next year. A story to follow through that deadline. Brittany Paris in the News Center. Brittany, thank you.